All right, guys, we are going to do an extra special smash burger over the Weber kettle. Yep, we're doing charcoal, and it's going to be good. You wait and see. Hey, guys, welcome back to the channel. That's right. Today, we got the Weber kettle fired up. Uh, we've got a little bit of leftover charcoal, and we're going to take advantage of it. And uh, so you might want to wonder, uh, maybe you don't, how do you do a smash burger on a kettle of charcoal? Well, get one of these little generic... Uh, pans here. I'm not sure what you call that. Round griddle. Um, this just happens to be a generic cast one. Cast iron griddle. Cast iron griddle. Um, and I'm going to kind of preheat it. Now I've got the Weber charcoal baskets over here to the left and uh, so that way I have a kind of a more of a cool zone here. But I'm just going to kind of get that started now. Alright guys, recently Mark Holcomb with Clean Space Project uh, out of Florida I believe uh, got with us and wanted to know if we wanted to try out his Heavy duty nitrile 5.5 uh, mil gloves. Uh, they are pretty good. These happen to be the um, XL size. Uh, that's what we requested. He sent us a box of 100. Um, first impression, they are a little bit thicker than the ones I get at Harbor Freight. Um, these are 5.5. The ones that I've been using a lot, you've seen me use them, are about 5.0. Not sure if that half mil really makes much of a difference. These have little tiny dimples on the fingers. Uh, they wanted me to point that out. Uh, honestly, I don't know if the other ones have these. You guys comment down below uh, what you think, whether these uh, do any good or not. But we're going to try them out here. Um, so the first thing we want to do here, guys, is we're going to use these, uh, what do they call these buns? Brioche buns. We're going to use brioche buns. <laughs> and uh, they're already kind of buttered, I, I think, from the bakery. But what we're going to do is just give it a little bit of light butter. Not much. Doesn't need much. And since I only have this small little uh, griddle to use here, uh, I'm going to have to do these first before anything else. So that's what we're going to do here. So I'm just going to get them on here. You're probably going to wonder, if I touch this griddle handle, are these going to melt? Well, the answer is yes. What we got here are these Grillaholics grilling gloves. And guys, these are awesome gloves. They're ambidextrous, meaning you could flip it over and use left or right. So if uh, one gets uh, kind of funked up, you can uh, uh, use the other side. That's not a problem. Uh, and it's going to really help them. You can grab things like this. There's definitely a limit of what you can grab with this. You don't want direct flame and whatnot, but for uh, brief little encounters with a handle or something, they're really good. So guys, uh, I'm going to leave a link down in the description. Be sure to uh, visit our Amazon store for some of these. Uh, if you can't find them there, I'm going to leave a link to Grillaholics. Use discount code GREENHORN. Get 20% off these. And either way, guys, great product, makes a great gift, um, so check them out. I like the little uh, silicone grips on them. Yeah, really, really cool. These are high temperature uh, little grippies, uh, and I really like them a lot. I don't use them as much as I should, but uh, I'm going to be using them a lot more. So let's check out these. Okay, these look good. Okay, see that, guys, how beautiful that is? So I'm just going to set these aside. Okay. Now, I haven't used my laser... Uh, temperature thing in a long time and just to get an idea of how hot this is it's right about 500 degrees and that's kind of where I want it guys so get a little oil on here and I'm going to take some of these onions here that's about good and I'm going to take my grillaholic spatula here and what I want to do is just kind of get those started here um, I don't want to really Soft them too much. I don't want to really necessarily caramelize them down. I just kind of want them to get started kind of loose like that, guys. See how that is? Okay. Maybe the big ones I don't need there. Okay. All right, guys. So uh, I'm going to put a few more of these onions on here because I'm going to actually do two smash burgers at once. I got kind of a limited amount of grilling space here. Now, guys. I understand you're not always going to find 8020 in here. This is 8515, 15% fat. Um, just try to get as high as fat content as you can, guys, and that's the key here. So, about four ounces or so on each one. I'm going to stick them right there. Then we're going to take this SPG by Grillaholics, and this is going to probably be the only time we really season this. There we go. Now, guys, trick to the smash burger. 
you want to get that spatula warmed up here a little bit, okay? All right. And right on top. There we go. There we go, guys. Just like that. I'm going to check the temperature here just uh, for the heck of it. We're right about 530. That's not bad. Okay, guys, so this is the whole concept from the smash burger. You want to make sure that uh, you don't flip it over till you start seeing the brown on the other side. And when it starts, the little, little volcanoes are bubbling up. Okay, and I'm kind of seeing that right now, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and come in here. Now, make sure you get the bottom of it. There you go. Look at that. Look at that, guys. All right. And that's perfect, guys. All right, guys. Now, you're going to have to just trust me on this one. A lot of people might disagree. But American cheese is going to get you pound for pound or ounce for ounce the most goo, the most delicious deliciousness when it comes to cheese. So, just trust me on that, guys. Use American cheese. Okay, I, I really recommend the individually um, wrapped. Um, but uh, this is what we got. Those are better. So we'll just go with it. Not really. Okay. I'm just going to let that go. All right, guys. So uh, a little bit earlier, Sassy helped me mix up uh, a little bit of this mayo. And I used sriracha sauce. And I kind of mixed it up, and that's about it, guys. It's going to give us a little tang. It's going to taste great. All right, guys, so I'm going to get these buns ready. And I'm going to start with some of this uh, sauce here right on the bottom bun. Just like that, guys. And don't be shy with this stuff, okay? And, uh, and why not? Let's get it on the top. All right. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys, here we go. Oh, I know why there's a crack there, obviously. There we go, guys. All right. It's going to go in. Bat, guys the buns are a little soggy not sure why um, but they're soggy um, but you know the meat the way we did the onions and the meat tastes really good all right guys let's announce the winner of the giveaway Uncle Steve shake two large 12 ounce bottles anything you want from his website guys before we announce it be sure to go check out Uncle Steve's Facebook page Uncle Steve's nation where he announces his own giveaways and special deals to nation members guys so be sure to go over to his facebook page follow him join that page and he'll uh love you a lot for it all right guys so let's go ahead and grab the video url from last week's wingnut wednesday we'll enter it into the comment picker and then we'll do that little math quiz to make sure that i'm a real person and then we'll go ahead and retrieve all those comments and then click start and it's going to the, the wheel is going to go round and round and round, and boom. Clayton L., you're the winner of this week's Wingnut Wednesday. Congratulations. Appreciate you guys watching. Hey, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. We appreciate you stopping by, spending some time in your day, watching our videos. Be sure to subscribe to this channel, and we'll see you on the next one.